<laughs> well, you better go. Are you on Wi Fi or are you on your cell phone? Oh, it's not me, it's her. <laughs> go sit somewhere else. All right, guys. Um, I have notes that I typed up last transition month. So if I look down, that's why, because I inevitably will forget something. So this helps keep me on track. I'm going to have to yell at our kids again. I will. Um, all right. So we are going to be talking about um, catalog transition and what does that mean and how can we make it the most successful transition ever. Ever. And um, get every ounce of goodness out of the next few months because there is a lot that can happen in July and August. All right, so <clears throat> catalog transition month and what it is. So twice a year we get new catalogs, we get fall and spring. Um, our fall one launches August the 1st and our spring one uh, launches February the 1st. Honestly, I feel like fall one does way better than spring. Um, it is our busiest season. Um, but the month before the catalog launches is called our transition month. Um, and there's a lot of things that we're going to talk about tonight. So highly recommend taking some notes, um, jot down things that stick out to you. Um, because there's a lot of opportunities in this month. So you want to be 100% prepared. So why are we talking about this now? Because July is transition month. That means that starting July 1st, you need to be prepared. Um, because July 1st, we are going to have a lot of things kind of being thrown at you. Um, first thing that you definitely want to um, be ready for is July 1st is when all of your business supplies get released for the fall catalog. Um, you do not want to wait till further into the month. And um, okay. I believe, yeah, I'll get there. Um, oh, sorry, Becky, you're, I was like, what did I do wrong? Um, the reason why you don't want to wait, and normally I do a post reminding everybody to put back money from their June paycheck to save for July the 1st, and I, I think I overlooked doing it this past month, um, is because a lot of you will probably want to wait till July 10th to do ordering, and there's a possibility that you can wait, but I would not suggest it just because we have so many more consultants and since he is planning for this now, having so many more consultants, but there are things that normally sell out with sometimes in the first day or the first week. Um, one of those things that I have learned on the first day when items release are the new fragrance stickers. Um, those go right away. And if you don't know the, the fragrance stickers that you get, um, like this, the scratch and stiff stickers. Um, a lot of you guys may not use those the whole time, but when we have a new catalog come out, the amazing thing that you can do with getting those new fragrance stickers is it is a very cost-effective way for you to send new fragrances to your customers um, that haven't had a chance to smell the new scents out of state. So normally in July, I am working on getting these out to all of my customers so that they know what fall scents smell like and start booking parties. So that's usually something that sells out right away because they don't make, hopefully they're gonna start making enough of them. Another thing that possibly may um, sell out is the full transition set. Normally the, um, I can't think of what it's called, not the full transition set, but the, um, maybe it's called the transition set. The transition set is just the fall scents that are coming out. It doesn't include the scents that always stay like black raspberry, vanilla, aloe water and cucumber, those type of scents. So usually the full set is what sells out because a lot of, okay, making sense still. A lot of people will join on the $20 kit in May and then they only have 20 testers. And so come July, they've been holding off on buying a kit and they're gonna want the full set. So if you're needing a full set, I would highly recommend getting that July the 1st and not winning too far into the month. All right, so what happens on July 1st, you're gonna be able to see all the things on the workstation. So 
you're going to be able to see the new fall and winter catalog. Um, you're going to have a digital file that you'll be able to download of that. You'll be able to see the August warmer instance of the month. You are going to be able to see the discontinued list. And oh my goodness, guys, the discontinued list is going to be your bread and butter for July. Uh, it's a list of all the things that will be leaving August the 1st. So if you have people that have been eyeing warmers or you have people that love a particular spring scent, you're going to want them to know that those items are while supplies last in July, they are going to be 10% off and they're gonna to wanna to grab them before August. Um, usually, typically, the wax is not while supplies last. It usually will last all the way through the month, but there has been a few popular scents that will sell out before the end of the month. They can still add it to their Scentsy Club even after it sells out, but if they're wanting to stock up like right away, then um, they need to do it while it's on sale. Um, um, so customers that do have Scentsy Clubs that have a particular scent in there, um, or a maybe they have a um, fragrance that is in our wash with that is going away. Um, if they have that in their Scentsy Club and it's not a wax bar, Scentsy's gonna email them and say, your next Scentsy Club, this item will not be in there any longer um, so that they know that that item is going to sell out. Um, Customers love to grab these products before they're gone, so they'll stock up. So this is a huge opportunity for Sensi Club. It is, it should be the goal of every single one of you guys to get your Sensi Club up to at least five hundred dollars in Sensi Club orders. That's like your bare minimum goal of Sensi Club, because if you get your Sensi Club orders up to five hundred dollars, you are guaranteed to be well. You are guaranteed on your end to be paid a title, to be paid a title, to make money off of the people that are underneath you, you have to put in $500. So if you get your Scentsy Club to $500, then you know at least your portion of getting paid is done. Now, should you stop there? Definitely not, but for um, sake of continuing on, get $500 in Scentsy Club order. So you're gonna to wanna to take that discontinued list and there will be a report and I will do a video on it probably the first next week um, of how you can pull a report of what discontinued bars that certain people bought. So say um, Jessica loves summer holiday. I can pull a report for everyone that has bought summer holiday and reach out to them and say, um, you know, summer holiday is going away do you want to add this to your Scentsy Club and get it made for you, you know, how Scentsy Club works? Uh, if you don't know how Scentsy Club works, you need to go watch a training video on it. Um, okay. So 10% off in July details. Um, so twice a year during transition month, we have 10% off. Um, last two transitions, we actually haven't had the 10% off because of hyper growth. But so this is gonna be a big month because our customers haven't had this 10% off in a while. Um, most of the spring and summer catalog will be 10% off. So all of your smaller combined and saves like your mini warmer and your three pack of bars, um, your six pack of bars, um, those type of things are gonna be 10% off. The Scentsy Club will also adjust for 10% off so those people that are getting, you know, $60 in the WIF box and all that, they're going to get an extra discount. So that's even a better perk to be able to talk to about signing up for Scentsy Club this month because you're not only getting 10% off, you're getting 20% off because there's already the 10% on Scentsy Club. Um, let's see. So it, what's excluded on the 10%, usually it will have an asterisk beside it on the discontinued list. Um, so any of your perfect Scentsy systems, which are like the two larger warmers and a six pack of bars, um, any licensed items, charitable so cause sure. items, um, any consultant kits aren't 10% off, uh, warmer in the end of the month, um, past ones are not 10% off, um, and then business supplies that aren't listed, um, and then any LTOs. 
um, those won't be 10% off. So there are a few exclusions to the 10% off. Um, on July 1st, you are going to start seeing a flood of graphics out there. Um, pick and choose wisely is what I would say what to use. You do not want to flood your Facebook with flyers. Um, I, I, it's very easy to post flyers of things that are being discontinued, but um, as we try to teach you guys with social media, your face is the best seller that you possibly can. So instead of throwing a flyer out them that has a list of 40 different things, try to post that one time. And then from then on out, um, try to use real life images. Um, if you have one of the items or one of the bars at home, hold it up and be like, oh my gosh, this is going away. Use your face, use real life images, um, do it one at a time and you will get much more reaction than if you were to post a long list. So you can even schedule in your VIP group um, throughout the month, one of the warmers each day. Be like, this is the warmer highlight of what's leaving us in July and schedule that out for the month of July so that people see what's leaving, um, but not bombarded all at the same time. Um, let's see. Question. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So on the Cincy Club that's being discontinued. So let's say they have a pack of pods in there, pina colada, cha-cha, it's going to be discontinued. So if they have a Cincy Club coming in July, they'll still be able to get that, but come August, they won't be able to? Yes. Yeah. It runs for one more time um, before it takes it out. Okay. Um, Unless I know they that don't had... get it that month, right? Um, so I had a particular oil that I absolutely loved and it was being discontinued and I added it to my club in January. I still got it in February, but then it took it out of, out of my kit. So it depends on what month they're having it arrive. If they have it every month, every other month or every three months of when it's going to fall to be taken out, but you can kind of sneak one more push in there to get it the next month. And then that's it. Okay, so as far as the 20, like they're getting the 10% off on the bars, plus the 10% off that they're getting. So is that going to mess up like the $60 that they were getting to be able to get like with box for half off? Will that extra 10% mess that up? Yes, it will. Okay. So, so need to if add they're, it, yeah, if they it. have a Cincy club and they're, let me ask for clarification on that because Cincy may do something different, but I know that they take it off before they add the half price item. Um, but I know that some people, you know, they have it right there at that $60 mark. So I'll double check with the director's group and make sure that since he doesn't adjust for that. But yeah, because I, I know they don't take the 10% off until after you've got to a certain point. Yeah. And then they'll take that 10% off. You can still get the whiff box. Yeah. So like they're right there on the verge. Yeah. But just in case somebody was to ask. Yeah, I'll double check on it. Um, okay. Uh, so when should you advertise this? And this is a big thing that I wish everybody was on here to hear. Sorry, I should turn off my notifications. Um, so wait till July 1st to advertise, which I know we're only two days away. Wait till July 1st to advertise the 10% off because you still have tonight and all tomorrow to still sell for June. If you start advertising for 10% off right now, everybody's gonna be like, oh, I don't wanna buy anything right now. I'm gonna buy it next month when it's 10% off. So don't advertise for that just yet. Also, when your fall stuff comes out, do not blow up Facebook with your fall stuff. No one will want to purchase in June or July if you do show them everything that's coming out August the 1st and you're going to have consultants that are out there doing it and it's because they probably don't have a sponsor telling them that's not a smart decision um, or their sponsors told them and they're just blatantly ignoring it um, it's not that you can't it's just not smart business um, some people will still purchase in July because there's that 10% off guys 10% is really not that great of a deal so I mean it's a good deal but it's really not that big of a sale so um, if it was me and I'm tight on my money, 
I would be like, well, I see that fall warmer that I want. I'm not going to save 10%. I'm just going to wait till the fall stuff comes out. So what you can do though, is, um, if you're, you know, technology savvy, which is not very difficult. Um, if you take a photo of one of the warmers that are coming out, you can blur the picture and put that in your VIP group to give them a teaser of what's coming, but not a full glimpse of, of what's coming. Um, as you go along further into the month and you get towards more towards the end, that's when you can start dropping a lot more like, hey, this, you know, this is the scent description of this wax. What do you think it's called? Things like that, that's fun, but it doesn't give them like, here's your catalog, go look at it, um, those type of things. Okay, um, what was that? Let's see. All right, so you want to make a list of thing, business supplies that you want to get. Um, I will give you some suggestions, but I, I would say you need to evaluate your business and how you run your business. Everybody does stuff differently. So the things that I may use for my business, you may not use for your business. So keep that in mind as I'm going. I don't have exact prices of these. I'm just kind of giving you kind of what they have been in the past. So the transition tester set. Um, hey, Chris. Chris. Mm, my battery's about to die. Hey, Samantha. Bring me my cell phone cord, please. Oh, it's in the back. I thought I had enough power. Obviously, I didn't. Um, okay, transition set is 20% off in July. Um, this includes the new fall and winter sets and any returning fall and winter sets. So like I said, it doesn't include that, um, like the black raspberry vanilla and the clothesline and the clean breeze. It doesn't include those. It's just the, um, thank you. You got it? <laughs> it's a plug and it goes in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you're so very funny. Um, so it doesn't include, it just includes those, um, any fall scents that you may not have had. Um, so it is not all 80 testers available July 1st. It's usually $20 um, and usually includes about 51 fragrances. So actual numbers and price vary, but that's usually about what they are. Um, so remember the world's opening back up, even if you didn't use testers in the past 16 months, you're probably going to start using testers. Now we are getting back to home parties. We're getting back to bag parties. And like I said, on our team page the other day, if you are struggling and you have not made sales in a while, or you're not getting the reaction that you want in your business, it's probably because you haven't put testers under people's noses. So if you do that, if you open up your house and have a sip and sniff or meet people for coffee, um, you're going to start seeing sales in your business. All right. Um, and then we have the full fall winter fragrance test. So that's the complete um, set. That is usually not dis uh, discounted. And that's usually $34. And that has all 85 catalog sets. Um, if you've had testers for a while, though, smell them and see how they smell because after you've had them for a while sometimes they may need to be updated um, because they just don't have the same strength that they used to have um all right so scent stickers um in the past they've offered the fragrance stickers um usually the most popular fragrances so usually about 10 or 15 of them um, and then they have them in some of the other lines like laundry, clean, pet. Um, they go fast. So like I said, grab them. Um, usually you will see flyers come out for mailers um, that will basically have new fall, winter title up top. And then I'll have a place for all your stickers to go. And it goes neatly in the envelope and it's perfect to send out to people. So as soon as I see that pop up, um, I will post it in the team page. Um, each catalog, um, you are going to see several very talented consultants create a half page or a third page sheet that you can put all the new releases on. Um, and then there are even some that do like catalog scavenger hunts where you can put those fragrance stickers in the catalog 
and really cute idea. Throw some confetti inside your catalog and pop those in the catalog things. Um, fall winter catalogs will be 10% off as well. Um, they come in a pack of 25 and um, they're more expensive um, for $12 for 25. If you wanna go a cheaper route, you can do the product brochures. Um, those are $5 for 25 and those are gonna be on sale as well. Please, please, please make sure when you're ordering these that you make sure you are getting the US English catalog. There have been so many of us that at one point or another have ordered the Spanish set and you do not want to do that unless you know how to speak Espanol. <laughs> uh, and I, I think the way that that shows up too is when you're looking at it, it says catalog and then it says English and then off to the side it says US or CA. Um, yeah, I think it, well, yeah, you want to make sure you don't grab Canada either. So it usually says US slash EN, I believe. So I don't even think it says all the way English unless they changed it. Um, so yeah, make sure you don't grab Canada and make sure you don't grab Spanish. Well, I, and um, I remember, sorry to interject. I remember in uh, January that we were told to, to search by English US to, so that it would bring us directly to the correct catalog as a shortcut to make sure we were ordering the right one. So. Nice. Yeah, good, that was good. really helpful. <laughs> yeah, very good tip. And I know sometimes typing stuff in can be a little like you have to word it just right. But yeah, definitely make sure that you get the English version of stuff. Um, so yeah, product brochures are definitely the cheaper version um, if you're wanting to not do like a whole catalog. Um, I even last year, which I don't think I have any left. I did a postcard scavenger hunt with a QR code for our digital catalog because I at that point could not afford, and I, I don't even know if I'll do it this year, could not afford to send catalogs to all my customers. So I did a postcard that had some fun scavenger hunt things on it and a QR code that may, had them go to the digital catalog. Now, some people love to have paper in their hands to flip through and look. And so you may want to pull your, your customers. Do you want to see a digital catalog or do you want a paper catalog? And maybe divide them up as far as mailers go or do drop-offs or however you want to do that. Um, let's see. And then of course, um, your, your product brochures. I love those. I use the stew out of those things. I use them at my events. I put them in every single bag that I hand off to somebody. I keep them on me at all times. Um, those are the lowest cost alternative um, to have people look at your items. Um, there's 50 to a pad and it's $9 on sale. So that's really good price. Is that um, the big one? Yeah, that's the big long one. I mean, Looks I like a calendar. One. Yeah, like a it's dead like calendar. this big and I try okay. fold it. Yeah. Probably like four, four quadruple fold it. Um, all right, so fall and winter product training guide is also on sale. These are light, they are super inexpensive and give you details about all the products. If there is something that you are looking for to go live on your Facebook page about and you're just stuck and you're not sure what to talk about, pull out your product training guide. I guarantee you there's gonna be something in there that you didn't know about products. And if you didn't see the oops that happened on the news station the other day, there is some new items that you are going to need details about um, that we haven't had in the catalog yet. So um, if you do not want to pay $2 for the product training guide, there is a digital version that you can look at as well. Hey, uh, is that why, Rachel, I don't mean to interrupt, but is that why there's been like um, blurred little Scentsy logos on the yeah, website? They had a glitch happen with the news articles and a bunch of fall stuff got released and they took it all down and they still have like the messed up, up stuff on there. And uh, I don't know if Rachel actually took down her post on the team page, but there's one item that's still on the team page, I think, um, of a new product that's coming out. Um, yeah, so let's see. So make choices wisely on what you decide to purchase. Um, 
Orville and Heidi are very big. You don't spend family money on Cincy. You spend Cincy money on Cincy. It is a tax write-off. I, I beg you guys, please, please, please keep your receipts. Write everything off that you possibly can for your business. Um, it, trust me, tax time is amazing for us because I record everything. If you're not recording what you're buying for your business, you're doing yourself a disservice. And all of these items, I know sometimes people are like, oh, I don't want to invest in my business. Guys, I, I can't say it enough. You are a business owner that does not have to worry about overhead. Normally, business owners are in the black most of the time in their business for the first few years. Invest in your business. It's two times a year. I know that we still have to buy other stuff for our business, but these items right here, are all that you need to run your business successfully. It is up to you what you wanna do after that, but this is really all that you need. So please at least invest into this. Um, so if your budget allows, um, the Cincy Consultant Starter Guide will be on set, uh, on sale. They'll also have the Transition Oil Set on sale. Um, that's normally nine bottles for $54. Um, Post and join brochures, you get 25 for $3. Um, catalog brochures. All right, let's see, skip some of this. Um, and normally they do have a Scentsy um, calendar binder in the um, Scentsy Success store. And if you guys didn't see, they released some shirts today for Christmas, fall, and Halloween, and they're super cute. So, um, Brand jewel sieve. All right. Um, you can also cut up a catalog and put it in a six by nine binder and page protectors. If you are wanting to um, save your catalogs and not hand them out to everybody. So if you go to a vendor event or a home party or sip and sniff somewhere and you would rather, um, some people have even gotten spiral bound um, so that you can reuse the same catalog um, long term. So just be smart about your business stuff. Um, spring and summer printed materials are going to be 50% off while supplies last. When they're gone, they're gone. Um, if you have stuff laying around, get it out. Mail it to people, drop it off at doctor's offices. I know last, uh, not last year, the year before, whatever was last SFR, I took stuff with me to SFR and I left it at every station I could at the airport. Um, because I had so much extra stuff laying around that I didn't get out to people. So um, if you have catalogs or brochures or whatnot, don't throw it out. Find a place for it to go right on there. This is an old catalog. If you want a new one, message me, you know, put them to work. Um, so spring, summer 2021 testers will not be available starting July the 1st. So if you, for some reason, need it, then grab it before July the 1st. Um, let's see, do not do things like random neighborhood door drops. Um, there isn't a great return investment and most people um, throw those things kind of away. So just, and local laws don't allow it. So just be smart about what you're doing with it. Um, do not get rid of your spring and summer testers. <coughs> Becky. <coughs> Becky. <laughs> You can use them for um, customer thank yous, but save them for next spring and summer. Um, there are a lot of times that some of those testers will come back around. And so instead of having to buy a completely new set, you can reuse what you had from the previous year for bag parties and whatnot. So um, you can give them to customers and you can give them as party games and gifts. Um, but I normally try to hold on to them for at least one more season and see if they come back. And then if they don't come back, that's when I'll start giving them as gifts um, because you could just flip it over into a warmer and it melts all out. And so you can do up a cute little flyer for that. Um, yeah, let's get that one. Um, and you can also mail them to people. So if you have um, people out of state, um, let's see. And then the same goes for like your, your personal marketing material. Be smart about what you're buying um, for your personal marketing material. 
Um, you don't need a ton. Um, a lot of this stuff is fluff. So I don't want anybody ever to walk away from Scentsy feeling like, well, I always poured more money into it than I actually ever made. Because the first few years, guys, your paychecks are smaller. You're, you know, you're grinding away and you feel like sometimes it's not worth it. And it's definitely not going to feel worth it if you're spending all your money on business stuff. So make sure that you're being smart about the business supplies that you are purchasing. Um, you feel like as a new consultant, a lot of times that you have to have everything that you're seeing SSDs and SDs do, and it, you don't, they make a higher paycheck. So I have one SD that's about to spend $250 on mailing stuff out for SFR goodie bags for their people. I'm not at a point that I can do that. When I have a seven, $8,000 paycheck, I'll send you guys some goodies for $250. Um, you just have to be smart at where you're at in your business with your money. Um, so, um, yeah, so don't, don't spend your money on cute branding things like doormats, jogging pants, picnic blankets, hats, dog leashes, even though they help and they're so adorable and they're so cute. <laughs> But it's if you have the money, just be smart about it. If you, if you don't have the money, don't spend it. Um, best purchase ever. The best $2 purchase. catalog on board sticker. Yes. Agreed. I've Although got, I haven't ever had anybody ask me for a catalog. <laughs> well, so one of my recruits who was going to be a customer, but ended up signing up, I met her in the school car rider line and while I was in Michigan on my way back home I was at McDonald's getting breakfast and we waited like 45 minutes it was ridiculous I couldn't even get out of drive through and she was like hey hey and I just kind of looked up she was behind me and she was like do you really have catalogs I was like I sure do do you want one it worked two bucks See? and it got hey. me two customers and I know we're kind of getting a tad bit off topic when I say this, but it's not always a bad thing if you don't have the items on. This last vendor event I went and did because we had just gotten back from Disney and I had forgotten I had emptied out my totes to reorganize it, did not have business cards. Guys, I texted everybody that came in my booth that day right then and there, my information. They already now have contact with me right away and it's not me having to follow up afterwards. So sometimes not having information on you is not always a bad thing. Uh, okay, um, a little hint or a tip. Um, and I think that you can do it in July, definitely if not in August, but I'm pretty sure you can do it in July. Um, if, if someone orders, um, if you're having something direct shipped to somebody, throw a dollar catalog in there with them. Um, you know, that way, you have someone that lives in Washington, instead of you having to mail them a catalog, if they're placing an order, you can go ahead and add that catalog in there for a dollar. You covered the dollar and write off as an expense, but that gets them a catalog to them without having to pay shipping. So really nice thing to do there. Um, all right, so new sa season sales kit. So these kits, um, they're pretty awesome. and only so usually only when you attend like the Disney Center trip and got the Mickey wall fan diffuser um do you normally get something new fall winter products um catalog but they do sometimes come out with it for consultants to purchase um if they do not saying that they are but if they do um I would maybe think about purchasing it if you have the extra funds because um, it can be a huge benefit to your business. Um, basically for you to be able to go live and show a warmer in person or to be able to, you know, set it up in your home and take a picture of it. Or if you do do a in-home party and have people come over to your house where they can touch it and feel it and see it lit up is a ton of difference. That's why you will see all of these higher up SSDs and stuff. They'll post for not even those, but like people that are really photography oriented, which I am not. Um, but you'll see them do these amazing photos 
And they, it's because they get these kits and they know that when they take these photos, their sales are going to go higher. You have a flyer picture versus one of these like styled at home photos. Like when Johanna Luna put all those succulents around the aloe warmer, it sold like crazy because we had a really great photo of how someone could style it in their home. So when you get these new season sales kits and you don't even have to keep the items, you can get them, go live with them, take some photos of them and turn around and sell them to your customers and, and market it as, hey, you get this before anybody else even gets it because you get it in July. And so it's just the same as our scent and warmer of the month. You get it early. So those customers have a unique ability to get it early. And some people are crazy about that kind of thing. So. And they sell out uh, quick when they are available. Yes. And you yeah. get one per consultant. Um, let's see. Yeah. So, yeah, they haven't officially announced it yet. Um, previous years, they usually have a wax kit. And then they have usually like a body line home kit. Um, and then usually they'll have the warmer kit. Um, so just watch the news tab for that. Um, so if you earned them for the spring and summer incentive, which I think Becky and Misty and I don't know who else, because I can't see anybody but my front line. Um, they haven't announced when they're going to ship out, but usually the incentive period will end on June the 30th. They do the audit, which can take a little bit of time. Um, and then even if a consultant earned a kit, they can still purchase a kit. So you can technically get two if you earn the incentive. Um, but those usually come, like you're gonna get those pretty early if you earned it. Um, transition month starter kit. Okay, so good thing to market to people for joining your team. Consultants that join starting July the 1st will receive um, what consultants call the Super Size Starter Kit. It's not the official night, uh, name, so don't go putting it on social media. Um, but starting July 1st, new consultants can get um, the fall and winter supplies and the spring and summer supplies, which I know a lot of you guys are probably like, well, why would I want that? Remember those, um, those fragrances most of the time will come back around some of them. So then they already kind of have a leg up on the spring for next year. Um, and they have stuff to still let people smell for the month of July. Um, yeah. All right. Well, did I go through all? Yes, I went through all. Okay. I felt like I was talking really fast. Um, okay. So that's kind of the the gist of it i know i threw a lot at you guys um i highly recommend um you guys figuring out how to run the sales report um come july 1st it should be up maybe a day or two after um but basically when you log into your workstation and you go to the reporting tab it's the third um tab under that it's called sales report if you click on that usually there will be a discontinued list that you can click on and it will pull up everybody that's ordered something from that list and those are the people that you want to go and market to um and then it's just a really great month for you to have parties because you could talk to your host about hey all of your friends and family they're getting 10 percent off this month um and uh, you know the cincy club you get extra there so um it's a really great time. And guys, August, really, August is kind of slower. Uh, not slower. That's not what I meant. August, people are still in summer mode a little bit. So fall items don't sell as quickly. But come September through December, you are going to be slammed busy if you do your business right. Um, we usually um have stuff released a month ahead of the holidays so oh, you know what you'll need for october is going to release in september what you need for november will be october december will be november so you have a whole month and then all the other ltos that come out and gift baskets for christmas and 
there's just, there's so many different things. Teachers, you know, you go back to school. So a lot of people get teacher gifts at the beginning of the school year. Um, buddy clips for book bags. There's so many things that you can do in the fall season and the holiday season um, that if you guys start thinking now, don't wait until you're in that month to figure out what you're going to do. And I know it's really easy to do. I do it too. Um, I almost sometimes wait to see someone else's idea and be like, oh my gosh, this is a great idea. I should go do that. But if you start thinking about it now, you won't have that mad, crazy rush of the holiday season of trying to get your orders out, plus trying to do something fun and unique and trying to spend time with your family. So if you go ahead and start thinking about maybe sit down with your calendar and look at what holidays are coming up and see what you could maybe think of yourself um, to maybe just jot down some ideas of, oh, in October, I would like to do maybe a, a trunk or treat or you know, maybe I'd like to do some goodie bags um, to give out at um, trick-or-treating. And you don't want to be doing that the week before trick-or-treating. So you may want to start that at the beginning of October. And you need to plan that. So you may just want to sit down with the calendar and think about things that you want to do in your business and try to plan doing those several weeks beforehand so that you're not in a mad rush. Um, okay. Does anybody have questions i know if there are a lot out there so, so this is, isn't a question i just want to reiterate what rachel just said the holidays are so fast-paced it's ridiculous um i was the one that didn't plan and it was like what do you mean tomorrow was halloween <laughs> so that's definitely something you know to take serious whenever she's saying that if you're wanting your business to grow if you're wanting to succeed um, the fall time is a really good time to do that, but having a plan is crucial. And I will throw some caution out there. You're going to see so many ideas. You cannot do them all. Pick one or two and, and do those one or two. Make sure it's um, income producing, like it's benefiting you. Some of the things that you'll see is really cute, but if it's not bringing you PRV in, then don't waste your money on it and, and try it this year. Maybe don't do it next year. There's some things that I've tried. I tried, um, what do they call it? The, the turkey trot bags where people take bags over the Thanksgiving holidays. It, it completely bombed for me. There are some people that they make hundreds of dollars off of it. So try something for a year and then readjust the next year. But you're going to see so many ideas out there. Don't let it overwhelm you. Um, just try to focus on one thing really well in that month. And you'll probably be way more successful. My state crates got way more successful when I started advertising them more than I was trying to do like gift baskets and tank crates and mystery bags, like all over the place. Um, and I even know a difference now because I haven't been advertising them the way that I was. And my scent crates have kind of backed off on the amount of people that sign up. So, um, don't think that um, posting something one time um, is going to get you continual sales because people may not see it. And so um, don't think that you're hounding people by posting something over and over and over. If you're going to do gift baskets for Christmas, post those gift baskets through November, post them through December. Like don't just post it one time and be like, oh, no one signed up. I guess that didn't work post it, post it, post it, put it in emails, put it in text messages, put it in your monthly mailers, whatever you decide to do. Um, but let people know that you're doing it because not everybody sees that one particular post. Um, but what I was trying to say is just try to zone in on one or two things that you really want to do instead of being bombarded by all the ideas that are out there. Um, okay. I think that that's it. As far Make as sure it's up, in compliance. Huh? Make sure that it's in compliance. If you question it, ask somebody yes. before you just all willy nilly post it and it's out of compliance. Yes, especially with Branded. the Warner Brothers and the Disney stuff coming out because it's like even a postcard that was going around the other day with the Warner Brother logo on it, sending in private messages. Because 
everybody thought you could send it and you could mail it privately, um, but you couldn't post it on, you know, Facebook or anything like that. But it's you can't even create images with Warner Brothers, even if it's private mail. So um, there's a lot sometimes and it can be a little overwhelming and we're all going to make mistakes. But since he is so gracious, a lot of times to be like, hey, you did this wrong, you know, go fix it. Um, but there's a difference in making a small oops like that versus not even reading your compliance and, you know, not even knowing what your roles are supposed to be. So, um, yeah, make sure it's in compliance. But SFR is coming up. I hope you guys are all excited. I don't know what to expect, but I know that we have a lot of, I'm just talking with people in Disney, we have a lot of people that are doing talks general sessions and stuff um, that are really, really good. So um, I know that Stephanie Brimmer is going, she's doing one on Project Broadcast. Um, I know Rachel Pence is doing one, Johanna Luna is doing one. So there are gonna be a lot of um, good speakers. And I know we kind of get all these people on a regular basis anyways, um, but you know, then you get the hidden sneak peeks. And I hope that you guys that aren't able to attend an actual retreat, try to get together with other teammates if you can to watch at least one general session. Um, and yeah, and then next year will be in person. So go ahead and make plans. All you people, go ahead and ask for time off work in July. <laughs> and if you're not a people person and you don't wanna be with anybody else, at least pay the $11 to at least watch the training. And yeah. if you can't watch it live, you get it for 30 days. Yes. And yeah, do your business, some justice, and uh, sign up for it. You will not go anywhere in this business if you do not start participating. So even if it's things you've heard a thousand times, I mean, this is something that you're going to hear again next year, transition. But hopefully next year, you all are going to have another five to 10 people on your teams and they're going to be on this call and they're going to have to be hear about transition. And if you're not showing up for it, then they're going to be like, well, why do I have to show up for it? So you're going to hear things repeatedly in Cincy, but sometimes we're just not ready for it until we're ready for it. Lead by example. Exactly. All right, ladies. Thank you for hopping on tonight. I hope y'all have an amazing last day to June and can't wait to see all the goodies for July 1st and go ahead and prepare yourself that our team page is probably going to get blown up July 1st with <laughs> all the stuff. So go ahead and just prepare yourself. <laughs> all the things. Yeah. Turn on all <laughs> notifications. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a wonderful night. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.